When it comes to guitars, how cheap is too cheap? Hey everybody, Jace Allen here. Welcome back to the channel. So I follow Average Joe's gear talk and he's always looking for uh, guitar bargains on uh, Amazon and Sweetwater and uh, different websites around that sell uh, gear and he finds these really, really good bargains on, on some name brand gear, but then also uh, some of these really super cheap uh, guitars. And so this is one that he did a video on a couple, I, I think it was last week or something. He did, he did a video where he showed basically just the, the listing on Amazon. And then today I noticed he did a video, it might've been yesterday that he did a video where he actually reviewed the guitar. He had actually bought one. So I actually bought one the day that I saw his uh, video about the Amazon listing and I ended up getting two guitars. One was uh, a T-style guitar and then the other is a semi-hollow body because I kind of wanted to compare that to the fireflies and the um, groats and things like that. Uh, Joe's review is interesting because you know this guitar is super cheap. I mean it's like it was $59.99 I believe. Yeah, so this guitar was $59.99. It looks like they've sold out already because uh, it says currently unavailable. And I just bought it like, I don't know, a couple days ago. Uh, so I think what's happening with these inexpensive uh, Chinese uh, brands, I, I have to assume that they're all kind of coming from the same factories. Because I, I, the way I understand it, there's like... An industrial park in this part of China and it's like the music gear industrial park they've got all these manufacturing parks all around the, the country I think and and I I'm pretty sure that there's like a, a one that's kind of focused on music and guitars and, and whatnot so I have to assume that these guitars are being made kind of in the same area by a lot of the same companies uh, this one looks eerily similar to uh, Donner's uh, guitars and brand and everything. The headstock looks very similar. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on, but it's just, I, I found it fascinating that this guitar uh, was $59.99 with free shipping. A lot of times you find a guitar that's that inexpensive, but it's uh, it has like $30 or $40 shipping so then that just raises the final price of the guitar up to a lot of the other guitars so anyway uh let's check this thing out okay so uh joe joe struggled with the name i'm gonna struggle with the name too um abegni <laughs> abegni i don't know uh not sure they're it, yeah so anyway Let's check this thing out. Uh, it came in a decent box. Uh, Joe said his was his box was absolutely destroyed. Uh, this box doesn't look too bad. So let's check this thing out and see what kind of guitar it is. So, so far I'm impressed with the box because I would assume that for $59 you would get one of those wedge-shaped boxes and it would be a single ply. This is actually packed in foam, similar to the uh, Fireflies. So it's a molded foam case. Uh, yeah, this is the, <laughs> you get a necklace that's shaped like a pick. And then these, uh, and it says titanium in the listing. <laughs> So anyway, and then there's some picks in there. So that's kind of cool. I mean, if you're buying this for a kid, you know, they might think that that's the coolest thing they've ever seen. Uh, gig bag is very thin. Um, but, you know, and this actually looks like, nope, this is uh, actually a branded. Uh, oh, and it, they have a website, albegni.com. Let's check that out. Let's check that out real quick. Yeah. I didn't know they had a website. I thought this would be just like a fly-by-night type, one-off type company that uh, makes these and sells them on 
uh, Amazon, and then once they're sold, once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, that's like the uh, that's like this one here that I got a, a while back, the uh, Ariga. But this is actually a decent guitar. I think this was Poplar, the body. But it's got an actual rosewood, almost looks like ebony uh, fretboard on it. And it's a full thickness body. And it was actually a decent guitar. It just had really, really sharp fret ends. But I have no idea where to get these anymore. Um, they have a website too, but they, they're not actually selling... They're not actually selling that brand anymore, so... Okay, let's check this. Let me just show you the Ariga Blackbird. That's the one. Blackbird Guitars. About Us. Which, it's generic. It doesn't say anything. This is just, you know, generic. It doesn't say where they're at. But anyway, this is the Ariga. I thought that guitar was pretty good. You know, not bad at all. Um, so yeah, they've got some decent... Oh, this says Grote, so they don't even... Yeah, there's the Ariga. There's the actual Ariga brand. Not to get off on a tangent here, but yeah, there's the actual Ariga brand. And let's see if those are even... Nope, see, sold out. Everything's sold out with those. So uh, there's the one I have. The Phoenix, I believe, is... No, I have the one with the white pit guard, Skylark. Right, see, sold out. So, yeah, it's too bad. So this is uh, Alder, Alder Body. That might not be the same one. Anyway, I'm off on a tangent here, but let's, let's go to this Abegni... Uh, how do you spell that again? <laughs> Uh, a U a established 2008, it says crafted in PRC, which is China, People's Republic of China. Uh, begni.com. And I don't think their website is functioning. Nope. Uh, let me just check the, the URL again. Oh, uh, Begni, A U B E G N E dot com. So if you want to buy the domain name and start your own guitar business. <laughs> so, okay, anyway, Gig Bag is, you know, I wouldn't throw it around if it was in there. Um, might be good enough to take to your guitar lessons or whatever but there's no padding in this thing at all so and they didn't even have the guitar in it which is hilarious but it didn't really need to be because it's in it's in a foam case which i'm pretty impressed by that because like i said i would imagine or i would have i would have assumed that a guitar this inexpensive would have been just shipped in the wedge shaped box with a couple of of the pieces of foam at the top and the bottom like they do and not an actual cutout foam uh, box. So you get the standard uh, L-shaped guitar cable and then just some super cheap strap. But again, if you're buying for a kid, you know, then, then they'll have everything they need to play a guitar. Uh, so I always rip these things, so I might as well just rip it right off pretty looking it's heavy too so they list it as basswood but I, I gotta say I don't think this is basswood <sighs> I've held basswood guitars before and they are super light this thing is actually heavy Wow yeah I wonder, I'll have to take this apart and see what that, I bet it's, I bet it's poplar. Unless basswood comes in really super dense versions, I don't know. 
right away some of the fit and finish like the round over on here is kind of goofy maybe it's plywood I, I it might be plywood that might explain why this edge is kind of weird and it's the not polished real well either so the shine is right kind of off and on on this edge here uh, looks to be a regular thickness body yep inch and three quarter or whatever whatever that is close to close to spec three ply pit guard um, bridge these are this is a super cheap looking pickup um, I can tell already that it's probably not intonated the bridge is kind of it looks goofy like it's not knurled knobs these are nice knurled knobs no no coil tap nice switch the arm on that's bent a little bit but that could have been in shipping there but it okay those the pots are not screwed quite tight on there okay and then the uh neck is uh, i mean everybody criticizes me every time i say unfinished neck because everybody's like oh they don't sell guitars without a finish on the neck i would bet a thousand dollars that this neck doesn't have any finish on it because it feels like bare wood but it's nice looking i mean it's you know it's a nice looking it's got some weird stuff going on up here which is in the wood itself the headstock is not terrible but you could actually it's actually big enough that you could probably cut this into a stratocaster or, yeah it's strato well this is a telly <laughs> but it's got more of a strat style neck on it and then a couple string trees uh, i'm not sure what the nut is if that's bone or plastic um, the tuners are just cheap enclosed tuners i mean they don't look terrible um it's got a back plate on it with the plastic grommet the uh string ferrules on the back are raised a little bit and they're not exactly even <laughs> so but whatever and there's a nice finish on it though and then the jack is in here it's not the cup style it's the square one and then it's got the chrome pickup in the bridge position or the uh, neck position rather so these are all single single coil and let's take this stuff off of here and then the joe had said on his review that the neck was super dry and it is he his guitar and i think this one too listed the neck as uh rich light they don't use the uh brand name rich light because i think that's uh martin's uh what they call their pressed it's like a pressed board it's just you know it looks like ebony but it has no grain in it and this has actually got a grain in it I mean to me that looks like real wood so i don't i don't know what they're doing there unless it's unless the grain i'm seeing is like the layers put together and then they cut it on the other way so let's take a look at some specs uh yeah reconstituted veneer is what the fretboard material is i have no idea what that means uh it says the body material is basswood but i i don't know about that I'm going to take this thing apart and and find out what's under the hood there because it's awful it's awful heavy for basswood uh let's see what else um maple neck okay so all right let's check this out uh some specs here it's a one and five eighths inch uh nut it's a two inch wide at the 12th fret so sp string spacing is pretty similar to a telecaster 
uh, neck is pretty straight. Uh, string height is pretty high. Uh, these saddles are, I don't know, the bridge isn't real great looking. The screws, oh yeah, this is weird. Oh, this is a string through, okay, I see what's going on there. You can actually, this bridge is actually designed for the strings that go top load. But this is, you know, through the body. Um, so this is, a, this bridge it does dual, dual purpose. I think I mentioned string trees. Um, nice finish on it. I mean, it's really pretty. And if that is the actual grain of the wood, it's, it's not bad looking. Okay, so let's see. What else have we got here? We'll do the fretboard radius, which is probably, usually they're, these copies are nine and a half, but it could be 12 or 10 or 12. Uh, it's not nine. I bet it's 10. Let's try 10, let's try 12. I've been getting a lot of guitars with the 12 inch fretboard radius lately. Oh uh, yeah, that's 12. Okay, 12 inch fretboard radius. Um, nut seems to be cut pretty well. Um, I'm sure it's gonna be, need to be intonated. Uh, strap buttons are just typical cheap strap buttons. Um, okay, so let's see. What else can I talk about? I think, oh, scale length. We'll do scale length real quick. Yeah, 25 and a half. Okay, so let's plug this thing in. Okay. So it'll probably need to be tuned, I'm assuming. So we might as well throw the tuner on it right now. Oh yeah. Tuners are really cheap on this, really. I've reviewed some guitars where I said the tuners were pretty decent and I got ripped in the comments. Oh, those tuners aren't any good. They're, they're terrible and everything. Those tuners were a thousand percent better than these tuners. <laughs> the G was in tune. That's funny. Oh. Oh, they got the pickup so angled that the high string. Oh, these tuners are terrible. Ow. I mean, they are bad. I can feel them slipping. Like, I'm surprised they're even. Okay, so I'm guessing the intonation is off. That's not bad. That's pretty close. That's really, that's actually pretty close. Wow. Wow, okay. I stand corrected. Yeah, that E, it's like the pickup isn't picking up the high E at all. So let me, uh, let me, well, let me check the... Yeah, it's like almost like there's dead spots in the pickups. That's crazy. Tone knob works. Volume works pretty good. Man, the uh, fretboard is so dry. And then Joe said he had, his fret edges were sharp, but these aren't sharp. I mean, these aren't the greatest looking frets, but it's crazy how that high E just. All right, let me go grab a screwdriver. Okay. I mean, it's picking up. And the string is right over the pickup, but I think it was just down so far that
That's better. Of course, now I'm out of tune. I can't get over how bad these tuners are. <laughs> still out of tune yeah it is it is uh the intonation on the e or the a and the e the low e needs to be corrected all right let's uh check something else out That's not too bad. Let's see. tune again. So uh, yeah, interesting. to slide up and down because everything's so dry. So anyway, there you go. That is the cheapest guitar I have ever reviewed on this channel, other than stuff I've bought, used, and you know, found deals at garage sale, but let's say brand new guitar, cheapest brand new guitar that I've ever reviewed. Uh, so yeah, interesting, very interesting. I'm interested to see what's underneath here. So I'm gonna do a video on that I think this weekend. I don't really have time to do it right now. Um, so I will, and then tomorrow I'm getting that uh, semi-hollow uh, a big knee or whatever you call it. So, and then I have some Tele parts uh, from a build that I was doing before that would really probably work good in here. Uh, so I might I might pimp this thing out and then just keep it because it's it's really heavy unless it's like complete plywood underneath with the with the you know how they put wood around the edge to make it look like it's actual wood but if this is a solid piece i mean it's not solid it's three you can see that must be actual wood because there's a seam here and then uh possibly a seam here so it's three pieces that's you know the way a lot of guitars are made yeah you can see the seam right here but the edge is so weird it's almost like it's not real, like it's plastic or uh, um, what do you call it? Resin, because it's wavy, but that could just be the finish. It could be that the, that the black is so thick, the paint job is so thick that it's goofy looking, but it looks wavy, like it's not, you know, like the, like the round over bit that they used was weird i don't know i don't know this is a mystery so <laughs> i'm gonna check it out and i'll do a follow-up on it and we'll talk about this 
what's underneath the hood on this guitar. But anyway, I want to do that quick review of this. Uh, check it out. Uh, well, actually, you can't check it out because they're gone already on Amazon. So uh, I don't know if the semi-hollow is gone or not. That I'm getting tomorrow. So it almost, it almost doesn't make sense to do reviews on these guitars because they're like, they're one and done. I mean, they're just, yeah, this, the uh, semi-hollow is, there's one left on Amazon. And that was 159. I don't think I paid that much for it. I think it was 129 when I bought it. Let's see my order. Yeah, 120. I paid 129. So now it's now it's thirty dollars more than when I bought it. Just I don't know. Last you know, a few days ago. It only takes two days to get. So okay. Anyway, Jay Allen, Jay Allen Guitar. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.